What do you think is one of the biggest misconceptions or a few of the biggest misconceptions about what you do? Yeah, I think a lot of franchising, again, it, it, people assume food when you say franchise. And so they mm. you know, think about Subway or maybe they saw a negative headline about McDonald's making their franchisees do X, Y, and Z. And, and so I think a lot of times they just don't kind of dig in for far enough to really realize, hey, there's so many needs-based businesses. I mean, you know, oftentimes non-sexy industries. And, you know, I think the other misconception is that why why should, as a business owner, if I'm running the business, make it happen, and why should I be paying that franchise or a royalty? Yeah. And yeah, I think it's a fair question. You, we want to ask that going through the exploration process, understand what kind of support. You want the support, you want the ongoing support, right? I mean, Right. And what tangibly are you getting for that? Are these expenses that you would be paying for, you know, on your own anyway, and instead it's just going through the franchise or, or, you know, so th those are the kind of questions I think you want to understand because not every franchise system is created equal, just like any industry. You've got good players and you've got some that are not so good. And that's where we come in. I've been very blessed the last couple of years. I actually do more placements than anybody in the country. And so it gives me that visibility firsthand to see what's resonating with different backgrounds. How are they doing with their purchases uh, after the fact? And, um, you know, our biggest challenge right now is that we're seeing so much interest out there that good opportunities are moving fast in good markets. So I'm always working my relationships with the franchisors, trying to position my clients ahead of other candidates in their pipeline to have first choice and first dibs on the territory because territories are just flying right now.